Perfect. So we will talk about Viva Connections announcements. Uh, announcements, as the name suggests, this is a feature which will allow us as as customers, as companies to send out important time sensitive information to the employees. And uh, we will have announcements as a new section shown in Viva Connections. So uh, whether you're on mobile, whether you're on tablet, whether you're on desktop, we will have the announcements show up on top of the page. So um, I have a few screenshots here. So on mobile, it shows up on the top as a as a small banner and then similarly on desktop i uh, we'll look at the tablet the um uh, recording in a bit so we should also see that so an author would be able to create an announcement either from a sharepoint home site or from viva connections desktop and once they are ready to publish once they go through the uh, authoring flow which we'll see in a bit in in the demo time uh, once they select the title the content that needs to go out in the announcement and once they have selected the audience for which this announcement is meant they would be able to send this out to uh, the target audience it shows up um, as we as we just talked about it shows up in viva connections on all the three platforms so um, if the users on a mobile or tablet we will also have a notification associated with it so that the employee can go and click on the notification and find the announcement right where uh, they have their viva connections app installed so uh, this is a quick few snapshots of how the authoring flow will look like, but we'll just get to it in a bit. And here I have two recordings. One is for mobile and the other one is for tablet. Desktop is the one which we'll see in real time. So on mobile, I will let this play. So we're loading Viva Connections app and we are seeing announcements on top. There's a carousel treatment on the top and the user should find all the announcements on top. Once they're done scrolling, there's a see all treatment at the end. User can tap into a particular announcement and read more. They can either dismiss the announcement if it is a dismissible announcement or they can just simply close the announcement. Once they click see all, user can find all the past announcements. So Carousel actually loads top five announcements most recently um, pushed out, sent out. Uh, but in the see all, you would be able to find all previous announcements as well. The ones which are active, the ones which are dismissed. To find uh, announcements, we, we had the see all button at the end of the carousel. There's also um, a view announcements button that shows up on the dots on top right. So we just saw that in the in, in the video. Next, we'll see how this experience shows up on tablet. So I'll quickly play that. Very similar uh, on top, we see announcements show up in the carousel. We have a similar see all treatment. We can tap onto any of the announcement and read more information about the announcement. Actually, a good feature to also talk about is the call to action. So in the announcement, when we look at the authoring flow just in a bit, uh, when we're authoring on the desktop, uh, the author can also provide a call to action in case there's a training coming up and there's a sign up link that can be added and, and the user can click on that. That's the notification. User can click on the notification and find the announcement.
and now is the demo time so i'm i have a demo tenant set up and i am on the home side of my demo tenant and on the home side under the plus new button i have announcement show up i can create i can uh, enter all the important titles then i can have a message associated with it I can select a target audience. I can also benefit from a scheduling uh, feature if I like to. If I want to send out this announcement in future, that's an option. I uh, it, I'm not choosing to do that right now because I want to show how this shows up uh, in Viva Connections right now. But uh, along with the authoring flow, we also have a concept of end date. We do not want the same announcement to show up forever. So we, we suggest authors to come up with an end date, which is in the next two weeks of when the announcement is sent out, either now or in the future. So for now, I'm, I'm just keeping it as, uh, as what is suggested, which is one week out. I have options, uh, more options here. So what we were just talking about, having an option to click add a link, uh, which the users can click. So in case there's a survey that I want users to click or uh, have a link to, I can provide a link to that. And I can also make the announcement dismissible if I if I want to. So uh, they can dismiss it and come back to it later if they if they are interested. At this point, I can either save my announcement or I can hit next. I can review all the details and I am ready to send my announcement. I can go to viewing all announcements from here. So this is the managing uh, announcements control. I can go back and see all the announcements that I've authored. I can make edits if if I need to. I can also delete announcements if, I, if I'm interested in. If there's a saved draft announcement, I can find it here and I can hit publish from here. Other than that, I also have my connections app load up in Teams. So I will quickly refresh that and see if my announcements show up show up here. So this was the announcement we created. It shows up on top of my connections app. I can Similarly, click see all, find all the active announcements, dismissed announcements. I can dismiss this one if, if I'm interested in. And it shows up on the dismiss tab. I can also author an announcement from Viva Connections desktop. So if I click announcement from the top right uh, menu, I come back to managing my announcement and I can click new announcement, same flow. I can create another announcement and it will show up in all the three places, desktop, mobile and tablet. So that's pretty much it for the demo. Any questions, anything that I should repeat or we should see again? That was really good. So as we have a few minutes, I will ask a few questions. Uh, so um, there was a question related to multilingual support uh, on this one, uh, showing you a few difficult ones. Uh, is there a multilingual support coming or in the roadmap? So it's on the roadmap. That's a great question. This is something we are planning to work on uh, once we release uh, announcements. So it's on the deck for uh, next semester, which is early next year. Early next year, so that's good. Uh, or next year, uh, first half of the next year is good. And then there was a question related on APIs. Uh, can we do this uh, programmatically? 
So we are working on providing extensibility options. Again, that's uh, that's on the backlog. Yeah, in the roadmap will be coming definitely. Behind the scenes, it's the basic pages technology. Uh, so it's it's it, there's there's no you know rocket science if you are in the SharePoint. So uh, uh, how it actually works, and maybe the last one, which is really good from uh, Yanko, uh, from a timing perspective, we need to move to another, another demo, and then let's cover the other ones in the chat. But Yanko had a really good one. Do I see it also in a normal SharePoint home? Will there be a web part uh, which will expose this announcement there? Not yet. That's that's an ask we have heard frequently from our customers. So uh, we are uh, again that's on the backlog. In in the current uh, feature scope, it's going to be visible only in Viva connections. But we are working and we are ideating on how we will surface this on a home site or if there if this needs to be exposed as a as as a web part. So again, we are thinking about it, but nothing on uh, like nothing available right away. Cool. That's good. Um, and then there was a quick notice from Jim related on Toast notifications on mobile and tablet. And answer is yes, you will have a Toast notifications in the mobile and this and, and tablet. So which is good. Um, and that the feature is primarily in the first release. And this is a version one, but just iterating what Nancy was saying. This is the first version. It's a relatively it's night polish UI for handling and purposing and also seeing the things. It's targeted for frontline workers. So uh, of course it will be visible in a desktop experience as well. Um, but it will be only the first version. So there's a lot of lot of innovation coming up on the Viva connection also in the future. Mm -hmm.